Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This is a follow-up list to my first top 10 hero units in Age of Empires 2. Last time I only included heroes from Age of Kings and Conquerors, but the HD expansions have added a lot of new ones in their campaigns and in the editor as well. So in this video I'm opening it up and including all of those for consideration. In addition, some commenters made a passionate case on behalf of units that they thought might have been overlooked last time. Basically every hero unit not on that list is fair game for this one. Let's check it out. Starting things off at number 10 is Bang Anang, who appears in the Burmese campaign of the Rise of the Rajas expansion. Now battle elephants do have some innate weaknesses. Not only are they slow, but they also take a lot of bonus damage from pikes and camels. Luckily as heroes they can't be converted, so that takes away one major counter, but overall as far as base units go, they're really one of the easiest to exploit. The trade off is if you manage to get them into a fight, they tend to have very good stats, and Bayanung is no exception. In fact, he's on roughly the same level as El Cid, who was top 3 on the previous list. In case you haven't guessed, he's definitely not the last elephant that we're gonna see. Next up at number 9 is Frederick Barbarossa. He never actually appeared in his Age of Kings campaign, but he has been added to the scenario editor. It might look like a step backward in terms of stats, with less than half of the previous hero's HP, but his Teutonic Knight armor actually means Barbarossa wins one on one. Armor can have a pretty big impact, and with the blacksmith upgrades in there as well, it's entirely possible most of the units he fights end up only doing 1 or 2 damage per attack. The rest of his stats are also quite strong compared to generic units, so he's a solid entry on the list. Number 8 is Tab and Shweti. I told you guys elephants would show up again, and this is yet another one from the Burmese campaign. This time it's an elephant archer though, which carries the deadly advantage of range. The attack seems a little low at first, but for a ranged unit it's quite good, and around double that of a normal elephant archer, while also having the best HP of the heroes we've seen so far. Up next at number 7 is Ornlu the Wolf. He was eligible but didn't make the previous top 10 heroes list. If you recognize the name, it's probably because he shows up all over the place in the campaigns, and seems to have a bit of a fan following. Just looking at his HP and attack, he seems comparable to William Wallace, but there is an important difference, and that's his lack of armor. In many situations, he ends up taking more damage than you would think, including anti-building and anti-boat bonus damage. A villager with sappers, for example, gains an extra plus 30 attack against him, and he stands no chance against rams. In fact, if you factor in all his bonus damage, he loses one-on-one -on -one against a Japanese halberdier. Another thing holding him back is he doesn't auto-target enemy units. That makes him a bit micro-intensive to use, though once you get him going, he can certainly handle himself against many of the other heroes, and he's also a pretty popular one in his own right. Next up on the list is Gajamada, who has an entire campaign dedicated to him, which he obviously appears in. Functionally, he's pretty similar to Ornlu, maybe just a bit stronger. Side by side, we can see he has a bit more HP, melee armor, and generally takes less bonus damage. He's still a bit on the slow side, but technically he's the fastest moving hero in the video so far. His animation also makes it look like he's skating, and as a Canadian, I'll give him a bonus point for that. Entering the top half of the list at number 5 is Wang Tong. He's actually similar to Attila in that he looks like a cataphract and is affected by cavalry upgrades, but is essentially an infantry unit from a bonus damage perspective. His stats are quite a bit better than Attila's though, and he ends up at a nice compromise between HP, attack, and mobility. I also consider it a good thing that he's unexpectedly strong against what you might think his counters are at first glance, so to me, he's a top 5 hero. Moving on to the truly impressive though, at number 4 is Dogna John. He has the most HP of any unit in the game, with high pierce armor and some range as well. Even with large attack bonuses from pikes and skirmishers, he holds up against those counter units for longer than you'd expect. 
for playing a central role in one of the campaign missions, he even gets his own unique look, with him being visible right on top of a slightly modified elephant archer. His only real drawbacks are his relatively low attack and movement rate, so he's more of a damage sponge than an offensive unit. Now entering the top 3, we have Harold Hardrada. He was almost an honorable mention in the last video for his ubiquity in custom scenarios, but I just couldn't get over his stats. It's been pointed out to me though that he's secretly a lot better than he looks. First of all, he's a lot faster than the typical infantry unit while also being ranged, but more importantly, his attack rate is double a normal berserk meaning you can almost consider his attack to be 26, though you do still have to think about the effects of armor. Still though, that's a lot of damage from range, and it's also considered melee damage, which can be quite potent against buildings, rams, and many different units. He should have been on the previous list, but I'll make it up by putting him here in the top three. Moving on now to number two, we have Le Trien. The armor isn't impressive, but the HP and attack both stand out. He also wins easily against every unit on the list up to this point. His stats are that good. He never appears in a campaign, so I'm not entirely sure why his stats are so good, but he beats William Wallace and has a higher attack than any unit we've seen so far. It's hard to believe there could be an even better unit out there, but unquestionably there still is. Before that though, let's take a quick look at a few honorable mentions. The first is Lei Lai and Lei Loi from the Vietnamese campaign. Statistically speaking, all three of these units should make the middle of the countdown, but I didn't want different versions of essentially one unit template to make up a big chunk of the list. They do deserve at least a mention though. Going back further though, I also want to acknowledge Hrolf the Ganger. He's basically a stronger attacking but slower moving Harold Hardrada without the range. His 140 HP would have been the lowest on the list had he been included. And as a melee unit, HP is quite important. Another fan favorite that didn't quite make the list is Lahir. As everyone knows, you find him in the Joan of Arc campaign. Uh, Lahir wishes to kill something. Based on stats alone, he probably shouldn't be here, but his go get him attitude really grows on you, as well as his habit of referring to himself in the third person. The blood on Lahir's sword is almost dry. Do your worst, you English fop. Them Brits can't make a castle stronger than Lahir. Lahir has been grievously wounded. Speaking of the Joan of Arc campaign, Jean de Lorraine also deserves a mention, but his stats again weren't quite good enough for top 10. He has extra armor, attack, and two more range than a normal bombard cannon, which is nice, but his low HP is just too much of a hindrance. It's actually lower than a regular bombard cannon, and they aren't exactly known for their tankiness. Without any doubt though, the number one on this list is the Abraha Elephant. You may not have seen it before since it's in none of the campaigns, but it's one you should remember. It seems to be named after a viceroy of Yemen in southern Arabia during the 6th century. The unit has the best attack we've seen so far and the second highest HP, which is a powerful combination. Even factoring in the intrinsic weaknesses of elephants to various bonus damage, he's still the best overall. The Abraha Elephant beats every unit on this list in melee combat, as well as every land unit on the previous list as well. In my mind, it's clearly number one. But let me know what you think. And and if anyone else should have made the list. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.